The peace of the Lord be with you, my dear family of God. Today is the solemnity of the baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, I would like us to reflect on the theme, Come to the Lord. The church celebrates the baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ to indicate to us the importance of our own baptism. The baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ does not necessarily indicate to us that Jesus is sinful and he needs his sins to be washed away. It rather confirms the divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ as the Son of God. For in today's Gospel we read that the Holy Spirit spoke that Jesus is the beloved Son of God whom we have to listen. The baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ also reminds us of our own baptism and the spiritual benefit we gain from our own baptism. In our baptism, we are invited to submit our whole totality to the Lord, our whole being to the Lord, our hearts, our soul, our mind, and our body to the Lord. Hence, Today's theme, Come to the Lord, becomes an invitation for us to return to the Lord with our whole hearts, our minds, our soul, our body to the Lord. We are invited those who are hungry both spiritually and physically. Those who are thirsty both physically and spiritually. We are invited to come to the Lord to get the true satisfaction and the quenching of our text. For our Lord is the true living water that can quench our test. Our Lord is the true food that can satisfy our hunger. We are also called upon those who have labored and are tired to come to the Lord for He has the for He will give us enough rest. Come to the Lord. For he has much for you. We are just to listen to the Lord in his word. We are just to listen to the Lord in his scriptures, in nature, in the teachings of the word, and in sermons and in homilies. We are to incline our ear to the Lord and follow accordingly what he says. Then we have to return to the Lord. When we return to the Lord, he has a package for us. And the package he has for us is that he will establish a covenant with us. By establishing his covenant with us, it means that we can call upon him while he is near. We can seek him while he may be found. This is an opportunity for us to just tell the Lord our needs, to look for him because he can be found and he is nearer to us. Get closer to the Lord, for he is ready to accept you. He speaks in his word today that his words that he has spoken about us will not return to him empty, but rather will accomplish the purpose in our life. May the Lord never forget us. May the Lord never forget our families. May the Lord never forget our work, our duties, and our relationship with him, so that his will will be established in our life. COVID is still living among us. Let us continue to observe the protocols so that we can prevent the spread of the COVID-19. I wish you a blessed week and a fruitful week. May God bless and keep all of us. Amen.